Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. In this video segment, we're going to talk about how to set up your signature line for your Gmail account. If you're a new Gmail user, you may have seen email coming from your coworkers or others with a very nicely edited and formatted signature line. And if you'd like to do that for yourself, this video is going to help you do that. So the first thing you'll need to do is log into your Gmail account and at the top right, click on the gear and choose settings. Now from here, you'll be taken to the general settings section. And if you scroll down, there is a section on signature about midway down. And of course, you have the option of doing no signature, but you also have the option of adding a signature line. And you'll notice that there are several tools at the top of the editor to allow you to change formatting such as bold, italicized, underline, text color, but you also have the option of adding links, inserting images, and formatting by bulleted or numbered lists if you'd like. Now here you can see I've added my name and I have an email address here as well as links to my website and my phone number. But you can also add images and one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to change mine and a lot of people now like to put links to their social media accounts on their email tagline. So to get those, if you do a simple Google search of social media icons for signature line or social media icons for email signature, you'll find that there are several out there. Here's one right here. And if you want to use one of these, all you have to do is click on it. And I'm going to uh, grab this blogger icon right here. And you can see it's opened it in a browser window and it's very tiny but that's exactly what we want. We, some, we want something small that's going to go at the bottom of that signature line and if I right click on that and click copy image address then I can go back to my email signature line and click insert image and on the web address URL I'll paste in that address that I just copied and there's our little icon and I'll hit select. Now, if I want that icon to link back to a specific page, all I have to do is highlight it, go at the top and click link. And here it says link, go to link. There is no link right this time, so all I have to do is click change and insert the address that I'd like people to go to if they click on this icon. And then I click OK. And so now you can see that that icon is associated with my blog now. You can do this for several other social media icons if you want. Just go back to the page and click on the one that you want. In this case, I'm gonna grab uh, Facebook. Remember to right click, copy image address, and then insert image, web address URL, and paste. And there it is right there. I'm just going to drag it back down here, highlight it, and then click link to add the address that you want people to follow. And then click OK. Once you have your signature line the way you want it, scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes. Now if you want to test and see if this works, all you have to do is click Compose and you'll see your new signature line pop up in a new message so that you can see that it works. If you'd like to set up your signature line, watch this video over again and set it up the way you want. And if you have any questions, please let me know and thanks for joining me.